Hello, my name is Blue Label and welcome to this final video tutorial about block rating on shields, channel spells, and the secondary enchantment EDAR, elemental damage ignores resistance. After many calculations and tests we finally reached final conclusions. This was by far the hardest video to make and wouldn't have been possible without the help of Leo and Sam. As one of my friends said, Blades is a game with some bugs so it's possible that some formulas are not applied in every situation. But what I'm going to share is applied in almost every situation. How does block rating work on physical damage? If you want to calculate how much resistance a shield provides you need to consider there are some multipliers. For a low block, the multiplier is 16.11%. For a high block the multiplier is 32%. And finally for shields with extra resistance the multiplier is 16%. For example, Shield of Stasis has 360 block rating and provides 720 block rating against bashing. A low block with a Shield of Stasis provides the 16% of 360, equal to 58. A high block provides 32% of 360, equal to 116. And for bashing damage, provide 16% of 720, equal to 115. So for bashing on a low block provides 58 plus 115 is equal to 173. And on a high block provides 116 plus 115 is equal to 231. The block rating applies similar for elemental damage but the multipliers are different. On a low block the multiplier is 8.33%. And on a high block the multiplier is 16.39%. The extra elemental resistance provided by shields like Shield of Stasis to Frost the multiplier is 8.33% on low and high blocks. The elemental protection perk multiplier is 8% in every situation. So a rank 11 elemental protection perk provides a total of 171 block rating means that the maximum protection you get from elemental protection is 14 extra resistance. And now the hardest of all. Channel spells. As we all know, channel spells does damage per second. So for shields, the multiplier is different. The elemental resistance a shield provides for channel spells is. For a low block the multiplier is 8.24% per second. For a high block the multiplier is 13.15% per second. And for shields with extra elemental protection the multiplier is 8.24% per second. And finally and most important part of the video tutorial. How does elemental damage ignores resistance really works? I went through a lot of headaches to finish this part of the video and I was about to give up, so I hope it is useful for you. I found many inconsistencies when we talk about using that secondary. I found that potions work different for channel spells. I show the results on this table. As you see, the elemental protection provided by potions are not directly applied. For example a prime elixir of resist frost is supposedly to give 274 frost resist ace. That's correct against normal spells, but against channel spells the resistance provided by the potion is not 274 frost resistance per second but 202 resistance per second. With this information now we can talk about how Eater works. This secondary doesn't add more damage than the amount you can actually do. The amount of points you are ignoring from your opponent resistance need to be multiplied by 5 and by the amount of seconds the spell lasts. For Frostbite the multiplier is 15. Here is a table of the guaranteed total damage for Frostbite. Also I found that this secondary ignores resistance provided by potions, gear, shields and resist element spell. Eater does not ignores racial resistances. Take a look on this fight. My secondary's elemental damage ignores resistance ignored the opponent's potion and gear and he got frozen, activating my physical opportunist secondaries. This is why possibly this secondary is the strongest on this game. I believe that with all the information shared in the three tutorial videos you will be able to create a great character and be successful in the arena. I am proud to know that these videos have helped many players. Goodbye my friends and I see you on the arena.